Hello, welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's true. I've been going through a little bit of an Apple phase lately with my Apple Watch Ultra, my Series 8. But that's not going to stop me from coming back to the basics, and that's Casio. Here I've got my G-Shock GWM5610 with a little NATO action going, and found another watch today that I've been meaning to get to for years. So let's put Apple aside for a moment, and let's get a closer look at this brand new for me, watch that's been around for many years. This is none other than the MDV 106. This is the Casio Duro. This is a diver watch and arguably one of the best for the money. Let's get started. All right, I know you've seen a bunch of these unboxings, but like I always say, I still got to get to mine. So let's pop open the box and get to this Casio Duro. MSRP $69.95. I found mine for under $50 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Some of the key features that drew me to this watch that's been around since 2011. It is an analog quartz movement, approximate battery life three years. Module number is 2784. And this watch is more than capable for your water sports application. 200 meter water resistance, 44 millimeter stainless steel case. A true screw down crown, rotating bezel, mineral glass, loomed hands and markers, and an incredible price. What's not to love? So here I am now. Less is more. This is gorgeous. It's pretty simple. Very plain face. Love that little marlin there. Got the water resistant 200 meter call out at the bottom near the six o'clock position. Love that red seconds hand you have the date window there just a very straightforward simple clean classic design here in a diver style watch hell what am i saying style for this is a rotating bezel mineral glass stainless steel case resin band heavy duty duty watch and my first impressions are this thing is awesome and it's more than worth the price tag. Wow. How are they charging under 50 bucks at times for this watch? This is definitely arguably one of the best watches I've ever seen for the price. I mean, you're getting plastic. In this price range, plastic disposable watches compared to this thing, which will last for years and years. I love all the features so far, and uh, first impressions are thumbs way up. Just want to get some closer shots here as we let the watch do some of the talking. Just a gorgeous presentation, and I am blown away. Why did I wait this long to get this watch? Wonderful rotating bezel, very tactile, very audibly present and feels great as we hear that wonderful ratcheting 120 click bezel very bold very robust feeling high quality man and i can't help but notice that beautiful mineral crystal display probably my only criticism of the first impression is how unrecessed that is it, it's actually protruding above the bezel and that's hard not to notice you see that little glow around the edge of the bevel of the glass it's got a nice bevel to the transition but it's still higher than the protection of the case and of course the bezel so high quality glass but it is very much exposed and that's probably my only criticism so far. Uh, the crown is well guarded there with the raised protection. The shrouding of the case around the crown, which is nice. And we did mention it is a screw down crown. And it is a spring loaded crown. Very smooth feeling. It's a two step. Of course, we can adjust the date and the time. Just a no-nonsense analog watch. And very impressed with the quality and the fit and the finish so far. 
Forgot to mention that wonderful resin strap. It's so Casio, but very lightweight, comfortable, predictable, dependable strap with our wonderful stainless steel buckle system here. Made in China, but I tell you what, very dependable. I love that brushed stainless steel. Complements the makeup of the watch. Rugged Casio dependability. And uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I love the strap. That said, the lug width is 22 millimeters. So very interchangeable. You can put your favorite strap, NATO, watch band on this thing. Let's look at the screw down case back. Stainless steel. Got the classy Marlin etched into the steel there. And very nice, simple but very classy at the same time. You know, they could very easily have put nothing on that case back. And what a gorgeous pronounced case profile on the side shot here. Gives me sort of a turtle-esque look. It looks like a swimming tortoise. You see that? High polished sides with a brushed top and brushed back. What a great contrast, great details, simple yet very effective, classy. Less is more here. And while I might wish the watch face had more information on it, more complications, what have you, uh, I'm reaching here to find something to criticize. It's awesome for what it is, and it is an amazing package for the money. Dare I say it's an amazing package watch for any price point i just think that for what you're getting it, this is a no-brainer if you're in the watch game and you love watches like i do get this watch now stop the video and buy it just kidding wait a second all right thanks for sticking around let's cook this real quick with some olight goodness got about what 1300 lumens here give or take 1750 i think with this olight warrior 2 mini and let's hit the lights and see how good our loom is on this awesome watch. As we adjust the camera to take a quick look, you can see the dot at the very top of the bezel, well lit, and even the second hand has some application of loom at the tip there. Very legible, very respectable loom. Okay, you're still here, so let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. I've got my Casio MTPS 110. It's a solar analog dive style watch on the right here, and let's compare. Definitely got some differences here, but let's just let the watches do the talking as we look and zoom in on these gorgeous-looking Casios. And there are a lot of similarities there. The Mineral glass on both are pretty much exposed. The, the straps are very comparable. The case design is very comparable. I like the protection on the east and west side of our solar Casio. Gives you a little bit more pronounced case, but there is no rotating bezel on the solar powered version. So arguably it's not really a dive watch. That said, I do like the detail and the extra complication of the day on the day-date window there. So a little bit more detail on our solar-powered Casio, and I like that red minute hand as well. So just some cool details there. Um, what do you think? Last but not least, you know we have to make a last-minute comparison to our Seiko SKX007. Just to give you a perspective on how our Duro lines up with a legendary diver that is Seiko. And very respectably holding its own against my beloved 007. And finally, let's go ahead and get this thing on the wrist. We've waited long enough and... Love that resin 
watch band. It's very comfortable, very familiar. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it on the band. But you can very easily upgrade these straps to any 22 millimeter NATO or other silicone band that you prefer. But I'm very pleased with the stock strap. And what do you think? It's comfortable. It's gorgeous. It's timeless, pun intended. And glad I got it. Sorry I waited this long to getting around to it, but you could very easily start a collection with this watch. You could very easily make this your everyday solo watch for any application. Sports, water sports, the office, casual, business. You could even dress it up. This is an all-in-one great watch collection. There I said it. A one watch collection, folks. Highly recommend. Please let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Man, that's nice.